Ah, uh, summertime. The sunshine, the vacations, the warm weather, the great outdoors, and of course, new seasonal distress. That's right. Summertime and a new seasonal distress palette. What I love about this seasonal distress summer palette, of course, are the colors. These are vibrant colors, perfect for summer projects or of course anything else let me take you through and talk about these new colors now of course with the seasonal distress that is a limited run of these colors so when this sells out they are gone for the season of course they are sold in a three pack so you get a pack of all three of the ink pads in one and these are the colors so first up we have mode lawn now of course not a chore that everybody loves to do, but a color that I love in this palette. This is what's great about Mode Lawn. It is a really, really nice green color. Uh, it's a bright green. So this is Mode Lawn in comparison to Peeled Paint or Forest Moss in the Distress Palette. You can see how that green really does add that nice punch of color to Distress. Love that Mode Lawn. Next up we have Salty Ocean. Of course, heading to the beach in the summertime. Salty Ocean. This is a really, really great blue color. So... Let me show you here, uh, comparing Salty Ocean to say Faded Jeans or Chip Sapphire. Again, you can see that real vibrant color in Distress. Um, you know, there's occasional colors in the palette that have that nice vibrant punch. And of course, these new summer colors really offer that. Now, of course, the third and I think going to be an instant favorite will be Picked Raspberry. Now, this is an amazing magenta hot pink color. And Picked Raspberry compares to, well, nothing. There's nothing else like it in the Distress Palette. So it stands alone. You can see that its color is really, really great, really unique, and really vibrant. So let me show you some techniques of what you can do with these inks. So we're just going to work with some ATCs. This is just some white cardstock. And I'll just show you a quick background. Just going and using these, just apply them right to my craft sheet. I'll just mist them with water now. Because these colors are going to be uh, really vibrant, they're going to make really nice backgrounds. You can see here that even though I've added the water to it, because Distress is reactive with water, the color only gets better. It really gives me some great backgrounds. I'm just going to dry that with a heat tool real quick. You can do this technique on a lot of different, ba different background papers, whether it's manila, coated, uncoated, uh, specialty stamping. I like to just work on... Um, something porous for this one. So I'm just going to do a couple layers, go in there, I'll wipe this up. But just to show you how great of a background these colors will make. All right, we'll just dry that up. And I like to blot up some of that excess ink. I think that also gives you a really nice, look at that great water, beachy background. So of course, we can take this here. I'm just going to take a little... Uh, die cut heart this happens to be a canvas just going to add a little bit of ink to that right around the edges and give that a mist look at that fabric awesome and then i'll dry that with a heat tool but just to kind of show you the finished look at that that's uh, cool really cool atc so let me just show you a couple other backgrounds uh with the other colors because it's really really a nice palette and I always think there's there's a really good balance in, of course, the Distress palette with these colors. We've got some bright colors in the bunch. We have, of course, Spice Marmalade, Worn Lipsticks. Those have all been really nice, bright colors in the Distress line. So this is Mode Lawn. Love this green. Reminds me of, like, Limeade, I think. It does. Really, really good. So I'm just going to do another layer of that and dry that. And you can see, this is what's really great about working with Distress, if you, if you don't use it a lot with water. It's really a simple way to create some backgrounds. And of course, when you have these colors, you can, of course, combine some of the original colors in that as well. So, here's our background for Mode Lawn. And of course, we cannot forget Picked Raspberry. No way. This one is something else. Nothing else like it. Wow. Look at that. Really great. So I think this is going to add a nice punch of color to uh, summer projects or really any distress project that you do. And it's nice that it has all those same properties as the rest of the distress sign. All right. I like how this one layers. We can get some really nice hot pink tones in there. So there we have it. Picked Raspberry, 
mowed lawn, and of course, salty ocean, the three new summer seasonal distress. Now, of course, with the seasonal distress, that means re-inkers are also available for these colors now. These re-inkers, of course, are sold separately, and they're also sold individually. But, of course, our seasonal distress is our three-pack. So, I hope you're ready for the summertime season. I hope you're ready to, to go outside, enjoy the great outdoors, but, of course, enjoy some distressing. <music>